In this video, we're going to take a look at three new features to hit the breezy page builder. We're going to go through them in this video. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. All right, so here we are. Uh, this is actually just Breezy's website. We're gonna just take a quick look at the new features to hit the page builder. And uh, so let's just go ahead and jump on in there. So I already have a page set up with Breezy installed and we're gonna go and jump right on into it. So the first new feature is drop shadows. And typically you wanna use drop shadows for an element on your page that you want to really stand out. So this would be say a button and you want a little drop shadow to kind of lift it off the page a little bit. That's why you might want to use it on a button. You also might want to use it on an image. You could also use it for the background of columns if you wanted to. So uh, I've already applied drop shadow to this button, but let's go ahead and make a brand new button underneath it so we could see the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus right here and then drag the button element right underneath the the button so you can see right there the difference between a little bit of drop shadow done elegantly and a button with no drop shadow now adding drop shadow is going to be super easy all you have to do is click on your element like this and then go ahead and click on the settings wheel and you have the settings panel on the right just pop on out and there's a new option here that says shadow if you click on the toggle switch it's going to enable it and you can see it's already enabled however we might want to tweak some of those settings so the first thing you might want to change is the color now i usually go with a black drop shadow but i make it a little bit more transparent and this would be the dial for that right here so i usually go down a little bit to just be so subtle so you see percentage going there i usually like to go at 25 percent like that and it's already looking pretty good um it could be lifted more or spread more and that's some of the other options so let's go back in there to that and we have these four tweaks right here we've got our spread and angles and all of that that we can play around with so if i wanted the angle up or down i could do this you can see i'm being overly dramatic there so let's go back to what that was it was at two and here is my left and my right, just like that. And we'll put that back to what it was. So you have real easy control over everything. And then you can make it larger or less just like that as well. So this is the drop shadow and I like it a lot. I, I think it makes a huge difference for buttons. That's my favorite way of using it is on buttons to lift the element off the page. Now let's take a look at the menu element. And here is where I'm gonna drop that. So I'll go ahead and click on the plus again. Now the menu element for me right here is at the very bottom. I'll drag and drop that in right there. Now now it's important to note this is not going to work if you don't have a WordPress menu created and that's just under appearance and then menus. If you don't have one created, this is not going to work out quite, quite right. Uh, so I imagine this is pretty similar to how it's going to work in the pro version when we're using this element for headers. It's going to work something just like this. So let's take a look at some of the new settings here for the menu. If you click on it, we get our same settings panel right here. And here's where you can actually choose the WordPress menu. You can click here. Now, if you have more than one WordPress menu, you'd be able to select it here. But since I only have one, that's why it automatically was selected for me like that. And we have some basic controls of colors and spacing. So here's our spacing and here's our colors right here. Uh, but there's a new thing that we could do here when we put this in mobile preview. So if I go here to the mobile view icon on the bottom left and change it to mobile, this is how the menu looks, but we might not want that on a mobile device. We might want a hamburger icon. So we can click on the menu right here click on our settings. Let's go ahead and get back into the settings right here. 
and here's an option to toggle the menu like this so now if I move away we have this toggle switch right here this is just nice when it comes time to use breezy to make the menus and the headers on our website it's gonna be nice to have this as an option for us to use so those are the two big new features in the editor itself but the next feature is fantastic and I gotta say nothing Nothing is worse than when you make a beautiful pixel perfect web design for a client and then you hand it on over to them and then they start getting into the builder and then they mess it up they don't do it on purpose they just that's why they hired you but you hand it over you give them control they mess it up and then they're knocking on your door again saying hey can you fix this and so what page builders typically add is a role manager and you can set permissions based upon the user role so if you weren't already familiar when you create a new user in WordPress you go to users add new right here it will give you this option to choose a role for the user account so subscriber contributor author editor administrator so what breezy now has is a role editor so if you click on breezy right here here's the role manager so you can assign permissions based upon the user role so you can give them full access this is just the same access to absolutely everything or you could give them no access now in the pro version of breezy that is going to be coming out soon there will be additional access options in here if you haven't taken a look at that just visit wpcrafter.com slash breezy and that will take you right on over to the page they have a special deal that's been going on for early adopters uh, with it and I do know that they're going to add additional access options I would imagine those access options are going to be to allow your client to maybe just edit text on a page using breezy but not not modify any of the structural elements with breezy so this is the three new big features that have come to breezy let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you like videos like this about breezy if you'd go ahead and give a thumbs up to the video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video